Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to go over how to claim a free 90,000 coins and also the best method in the game right now to be able to generate profit. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. Y'all know how we rock on this channel let's get into some shout outs we got a shout out for daniel we got a shout out for d machine shout out for edgar gomez shout out for truth and light if you want a chance to be shouted out all you got to do is be active on the channel go in the comment section and say naughty gang baby let's get into today's madden 22 breakdown this is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you claim your tokens. If you pick the correct team, which should have been either the Chiefs or the Buccaneers to give yourself the best chance at getting a free 90,000 coins. That's part one, a free 90,000 coins just by making a few selections. Now, we also gonna go over how you can make a lot of coins. If we go down here to my auctions and trade. So if you look right here, I sold a Joe Burrow for 472,000 coins. That's the reason why I tell you guys to do the 500 coin method and build your binder up, okay? So now you can see they about to release a new team builders right after I put that video out about the team builders. So if you're spending 15 to 20,000 coins every single day, sniping cards, reposting them, making a lot of profit, but building your binder up, another Joe Burrow that I sold for 418,000 coins. So in about 30 minutes, I made two Joey Burrows, spending about 375K at the most. We was walking away with a lot of profit. Now, another good thing that you can do is the team of the week. The team of the week is going to be a battle on the auction house, but you can snipe them pieces for very, very cheap. So if you go to sets, team of the week, this Joe Burrow is what I was doing yesterday, but I was using this 85 to 92 in week 16. So what I was doing was I was taking all my gold cards, exchanging them to elites. And then I was taking all the elites and I was able to put them into this set right here. Okay. I was making about four to five packs at a time and we got some packs made right now. So you go do the 500 coin method and then it's going to help you be able to make the Joe Burrow for very, very cheap. Now his price has went way down, probably 140 to 150 thousand coins, but you could do that with any team of the week player. Now you can go in the auction house and snipe them players. As you can see right here, I go to sets and then I just go exchange all my cards. Right now, elites are very, very expensive, like two or three thousand more. So if you do the 500 coin pack, most of the time, when you pull a card, you're going to be making profit. So I will go up in here, take all my golds, and then I will exchange them into an 80 to 82. So we got to go right here, put all these into the 80, 82. We're going to need one more. Boom. We got ourselves a very, very cheap elite. So I do the 70 to 74, spend about 10 minutes exchanging six or seven of them. They turn into 75 to 79s. Then I go ahead and then I turn the 75, 79s to the elites okay so if you do that that's going to take about 12 to 13 thousand off your original price if you was to sit on the auction house and start fighting against other snipers you can do that but it's going to be tedious so if we was to go in there and get them golds then i would take them same golds and then i would put them into this the 80 to 82 and then at the end i would put them into the team of the week and then i would make some pecs out of that so every time that you complete a set that is part of your daily goal. You're going to get 100 free coins on top of that. So if we go right here to unopen packs. So we got these 585 to 92 overall team of the week packs. So if we open up these team of the week 
is two things that you can do. You can take these Anthony bars and I can sell them. So right now these Anthony bars are going for 13,000. Yesterday at the new program they were going, you had to get them for 23 snipes and up to 29, 30,000 coins. So they are down right now because the overall card, which is the 96 Joey Burrow, is down right now, okay? So that's how it works. When a new program come out, you wanna make sure that your binder is already stacked so you can get the most profit in that first three to four hour window. So each one of these 85 overalls probably cost about six to 7,000 coins to make. I can turn around and have a 3,500 to 4,000 profit on each one of them, or I can go ahead and snipe the rest of the other pieces. You're going to need like 585s. You're going to need uh, three of the 92s, a couple of the 89s to make the full set. But like I said, in that first three to four hours, as they just giving me just duplicates after duplicates after duplicates, that's the reason why it's all about taking your coin profit right now and not risking too much. As we pull a 92 right there, that 92 yesterday was about 57 to 58,000 coins. But the good thing about that set was you was able to find people who don't know what they are doing and they were putting them same pieces, them 92 overalls up for 30 to 32,000. You snipe all them, that's gonna take 15 to 17,000 off your initial investment and that's the reason why you was able to make Joey Burrow super, super cheap. So make sure that you claim your free 90,000 coins if you got that. Make sure that you are checking prices and sniping as many pieces as possible. Use the 500 coin pack method, 10,000, 15,000 coins every single day. So if you come over here to feature, one of my subscribers said you push down two times, you are right at the get a player pack right there. Go ahead, open that up. You can do it about 20 to 25 times every single day. If you pull a lead out of it, right now with how the prices is, you make profit. You spend 500 coins, you might be able to sell it for 3,000 coins. That's a 2,500 profit. You get these low 72s, you get enough of them, you turn them into high golds. You put them in the exchange, turn them 72s into 75 to 77s. You take them 75 to 77s, turn them into elites. Right now, or every time a new program come up, them same elites go up another 15 to 2,000 coins. So if you got a bunch of low elites and a new program come out, you can either cash out your binder and walk away with an easy 80 to 100,000 coins just taking advantage of the hype of the new program or you can have cards already stacked up, put them into sets for the new program, make it very cheaper for you because you already opened up a lot of packs for 500 coins a piece and take advantage of the profit and the opportunities in Madden 22. Let me know in the comment section how do y'all feel about the new AP increase and how does that affect y'all game. Let's go.